Whether you're upgrading to Windows 11 from an older operating system, or you just bought a new PC with Windows 11 already installed, I'll show you the things you need to do immediately after installing Windows 11 to improve your overall experience using it. The absolute first thing you should do is to check to see if there are any updates. After the initial install of Windows 11, there could be updates that include new features, bug fixes, or updates to your drivers to make them more compatible with the new operating system. To check for updates, let's open the Settings app. One of the many ways to open it is to right-click the Start Menu icon in the taskbar and select Settings. Another way to open it would be to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus I. In the tabs on the left, go all the way down and select Windows Update. Then here on the right, if you see that there's an update available, you would click on the button that says Download and Install. If not, click on Check for Updates. And it looks like at this time for this PC, there are no updates available. In addition, you may have optional updates to install that could make things better, and Microsoft doesn't make this obvious, so I'll show you how to find them. Click on Advanced Options, and then in the Additional Options section, select Optional Updates. Let's click the drop-down menu. Looks like there's a driver update for one of my monitors and for the firmware. To install these, you just check the boxes and then click on Download and Install. I won't be doing this now, so let's move on. Another thing to do is to check out your power plan and change it if needed. When I upgraded this PC to Windows 11, it changed my power plan back to balanced from high performance. To check your power plan, go to search in the taskbar and type control panel. Select it. At this time, the control panel is still more detailed than using the settings app to choose a power plan. So in control panel, select large icons here in the upper right. Then click on power options. Currently it's set to balanced. Depending on the manufacturer of your PC, you might have different choices here. To see all the plans available, select show additional plans. If you play video games or edit videos, high performance would be better for you. And if you have a higher end PC, you might want to go with ultimate performance. If you're just using your computer to browse the internet or anything else that doesn't require a lot of power, the power saver option just might be the best power plan for you. If you plan to make any changes that could have a negative impact on your system, it's always best to create system restore points to roll back those changes if you run into a problem. Once again, go to search in the taskbar and type system restore. Click on create a restore point. With the system protection tab selected, left click on your system drive. And for most of you, that will be the C drive. And below that, click on configure. If disabled, turn on system protection. In disk space usage, to adjust the amount of disk space used for restore points, move the slider to the amount you want used. In my experience, two to 3% should be enough. When you're done with that, click OK. If you get this window that pops up, select yes. And if you have a brand new install, you won't get this pop up because you don't have any existing restore points. Your system will now create system restore points automatically. To undo any negative changes and access a prior restore point, come back to the same window and select system restore. Click on next. If you see more than one listed, select the newest restore point before you made any changes and then click on next to continue. I won't be doing this now. From here, you just click on finish to confirm your restore point. Let's go back to the settings app. If you upgraded from Windows 10 to 11, your privacy settings should have transferred over. If you're using a fresh install of Windows 11, you might want to change some of these. In the left pane, select privacy and security. And in Windows permissions, go to recommendations and offers. If you value privacy, it's best to turn all of these off, beginning with personalized offers, then go all the way down to advertising ID. Let's go back to the previous page. Also in Windows permissions, let's scroll down a little bit here and go to diagnostics and feedback. For send optional diagnostic data, toggle the switch to off. In addition, go to improve inking and typing. 
If you turn the previous toggle off for send optional diagnostic data, this should be off as well. Let's scroll down, go to view diagnostic data, turn that one off. And when you're done with that, go to delete diagnostic data and click on delete. To customize the appearance while using Windows 11, right click anywhere on your desktop and select personalize. This will automatically open the personalization tab in settings. Select colors. If you don't like the default light mode of your folders and apps and choose your mode, click the drop down arrow and select dark. And for most of you, you'll find this will be easier on your eyes. Let's go back and go into themes right below colors. Themes are specially created to give you an assortment of wallpapers and in some cases, new sounds and color schemes. You could select from those that are pre-installed or those that have already been downloaded. You would just need to click on it or to find a new theme for your computer, click on browse themes. This will take you to the themes page in the Microsoft store to browse the hundreds of free themes available. For example, the theme being used on this PC for the Microsoft Store is called Light Trails Premium, which includes 10 images. A somewhat controversial change in Windows 11 I've discussed before is the centered alignment of the Start menu and icons in the taskbar, which is similar to Mac OS. Some people like it and some don't. If you prefer the left alignment like it's always been in Windows, right click on an open area of your taskbar and select Taskbar Settings. You may need to scroll down here and select Taskbar Behaviors. For Taskbar Alignment, click the drop down arrow and select Left. You'll now see that the Start menu and the other icons are now aligned to the left. To switch back, click the drop down menu again and select Center. With a fresh install of Windows, there may be apps that load up that you don't need immediately, slowing down your boot time. To disable those Microsoft services or third-party apps you don't use when your computer starts up, right-click on an empty space in your taskbar and select Task Manager. In the left pane, select Startup Apps. For example, some services in this list owned by Microsoft you might find enabled that you don't need at startup include Microsoft To Do, Microsoft Teams, the Xbox app, and Copilot. For each of the services that you don't use at startup that you don't want enabled, select it. Then here at the top, click on Disable. With any new install of Windows, you'll find icons for apps taking up space in your taskbar that you may not want. To remove it, right click on it and select Unpin from Taskbar. And now it's gone. In addition to widgets here on the left, there's search and task view to work with virtual desktops. To remove any of these, right click on an empty space in the taskbar and select taskbar settings. To remove task view and widgets, just click the toggles to off and you'll see that they're now gone. For search, you would click the drop down menu and select hide. Other than hide and search box, you may prefer search icon only and the other one here is search icon and label. On the flip side, you may want to add a useful program or app to the taskbar for quicker access. One way of finding a program or app is to click on start. Then in the upper right, go to all, find the program or app in the list. Let's go with handbrake, right click on it. And in more, select pin to taskbar. And there it is. With it in the taskbar, left click on it and drag it to the position where you want it. Or the program open, right click on its icon in the taskbar and select pin to taskbar. If you want to make it more difficult for people to have access to your PC, you may want to change your sign in options. To do this in the settings app, go to accounts in the left pane I'd scroll down on this page past the personal payment method stuff. In account settings, select sign in options. When you're going through the process of installing Windows 11, you may have already set up a pin or a password. Here you can change your pin or password if you want. 
You also have additional sign-in options to choose from, including facial and fingerprint recognition. You could sign in with a physical security key, or you could use a picture as your password. Choose the sign-in option you want and follow the instructions. When you upgrade from Windows 10 to 11, the old files from Windows 10 that are no longer needed are still on your drive, taking up space just in case you want to roll back to Windows 10. If you're happy with Windows 11, to delete those old files, open the Settings app. With System selected on the left, here on the right, go to Storage. In Storage Management, select Cleanup Recommendations. And if it's not already opened, click Temporary Files. What you're looking for here is called Previous Windows Installation. I've already deleted it, so it's no longer here. Click See Advanced Options. On other machines, I've also seen Previous Windows Installation here as well. If you have it here, click to check the box on the left, along with the other files you no longer need. And when you're done with that, here at the top, click Remove Files and wait for it to finish. A new feature that launched with Windows 11 is the Widgets panel. To open it, hover your cursor over the widgets icon located on the left side of the taskbar. Here you can view local weather, sports, stocks, and all sorts of other stuff, including a newsfeed from MSN. Clicking on the three dot menu icon on the right side of the widget lets you hide, customize, and pin the widget. And if you want to add more widgets, just simply click on the plus here at the top. There's widgets here for Copilot, PC Manager, Phone Link, Spotify, and many others. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What are the first things you do after installing Windows? Let us know about those in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and hit the bell to stay up to date with the latest with Windows 11 and other stuff here on Pop Gumbo.